Hello everyone, welcome. It's Ryan here from the London Craftsman channel. Today's video is all about mouldings. Basically, I want to find out whether we can router mouldings in on cheaper, non-expensive, standard MDF and see what kind of finish we get once we spray. So if you're curious, you want to find out more, well, you better stay tuned, watch to the end, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to pester Sean here because he's got a lovely sheet of standard MDF here. It's brown in colour and this is what standard MDF looks like. Um, you get different grades depending on where you buy it from. Some are branded, some are not. Um, you may follow me, you may be a subscriber already, you may have watched some of my videos. I generally do not use any other MDF other than standard, okay? You can see we've got a whole stack of it in there and a whole stack in the spray room. So today we're doing some mouldings on some ledges. Um, we're going to be finding out whether we can get a high-end finish on this lower quality standard MDF and um, see how well we can get these sprayed up. If they spray up really nicely, how much effort goes into them, etc., etc. So we're good to go on routering these. As you can see, we've got the T8 set up, cutter in, and that's exactly what we've got showing of the cutter. And I've got the extraction set up on this. I've not used this before. This will be the first time I've used it. And I don't know how effective this extraction is going to be. As you can see the accessory that clips on. Um, and it's got this little port on the top, which is quite cool actually. You can take that off and attach a hoover directly to there or to this black part. So we'll give that a go and see how well it works. Obviously routering MDF freehand is a messy job. So let's see how effective it is. So I took the black adapter off and it fits really nice. This CTS hose onto the clear tube. Um, a nice snug fit. Obviously the CTS hose goes into the bench. When I turn the router on, so yeah, it should turn on the hoover as we router. Got it on full speed. As I was routering, I just saw the dust coming out of the router, but then it's weirdly getting sucked back in. Did you see that? It was like coming out, but then it was just going back into the router. So there's not actually a lot of dust. Have a look. Quite chuffed with um, the way that little tube worked. Have a look. It's, considering we are only using standard MDF, um, it is a decent quality, to be fair. Me and Sean have a bit of a joke about it, to be fair. You've got a friend who always says, to be fair, to be fair. Um, anyway, I think it's come out really nice. Remember, this is upside down now, this moulding. So this is the top of the ledge. Not fluffy whatsoever, really. Um, and what I will do is I will paint that first with a brush just to let the paint soak into the moulding and then sand it back. Um, but it's coming out a lot better than I planned. So we'll give that prime of a brush. But I think that's come out quite nice for standard. Yeah, pretty chuffed. So I've started painting the edges and they're coming out really nicely. All I'm doing is using a brush and some white paints. So don't be tempted to start sanding these back until you've done your painting on the edges. I'm doing two coats, letting it dry in between, and then I'm going to sand back because this paint is acting like a filler. So if you want to see more videos of where I use paint as a kind of high build filler, watch the video up above. It's doing a fantastic job at the moment. They've all been primed now. I use the brush to prime the edges, put it on quite heavy or as heavy as I could and let that dry, went fluffy again. So I've sanded these all back now. So these three and this one is done, but let's show you the ones that have been primed and sanded back. So this is how I've gotten back. Primer's still in the grain, which is good. They've had a good hard rub back with 240 and um, it's smooth, really, really smooth. And no roughness at all. So um, yeah, that's going to take the paint really nicely. This is the one that's had its first top coat as such. So it's had the prime and the sand like this, and then it's had a big heavy hit with the sprayer. Let's see if we can get some of the sheen in. Okay, considering we're using standard MDF, we've got them up quite nicely 
with just one prime of paint um, and a light sand back. So really, really chuffed. I don't think we're going to have to sand these back anymore. It's just going to be one more coat and it's done. So yeah, what I'll do is once they're all complete, I'll show them all finished. About to be sprayed. I'm going to do it one handed because I've got no one here to film me. But yeah, we're just going to hit those edges really hard, okay? And um, yeah, try and give it a big heavy coat. Went a little bit heavy there. Hopefully that was soaking. I'm gonna do that to the rest of them. Put it on a little bit heavy on that corner. You can see how heavy I've applied this one too. So we're just gonna let that dry and that's gonna soak in a little bit. Hopefully we won't need a sand after this. I'm sure we won't. I'm showing you the finished product now. So it actually had one prime with a brush and two top coats. And this is the finish that we have got. It's pretty awesome. So you can see it's still got the wet look. Any texture is from the paint spray and not the MDF as such. And we'll come back to that by the end of the day when it's dry and we'll go over the pieces to show you the finished product. And this is the sheen of the top. I was expecting them to be a lot more fluffy, if I'm honest. In the end, it had one prime and two top coats and only one sand in between um, after the prime, okay? So it had its prime and then it had a sand and then it had two top coats. So if you did want to improve the finish at all, um, you weren't happy with it, you could sand again in between every coat but we found that we are achieving a really nice result for um, just standard MDF, nothing fancy, no fancy names, just off the shelf MDF. Um, but overall, you just cannot complain about the finish. I don't think anyone would be um, complaining about this finish. So it, it worked. That is the moral of the story. You don't necessarily have to spend two or three times the amount on materials. If you just want to put a little bit more labor into um, the job, into sanding back, making sure that the fluffiness has been rubbed back because that's all it is. When you machine into MDF, the cheaper standard material generally fluffs up more than the expensive stuff. And that is the only difference, um, especially when you spray. So if you are happy with just sanding that back, once you have primed those fluffy edges, because remember when the primer goes into that grain, it soaks in, stiffens up the fluffy particles, turns it into something really rigid, then you sand that back and effectively it's giving you a flat surface gain. So a little bit more labor, I would imagine, than the expensive stuff, but maybe a third of the price. I'm not really too sure of the expensive um, MDF, such as Finzar and the other fancy MDF, prices but yeah they're not going to be cheap especially if you are doing a handful uh, a large number of components on this occasion we've only got four ledges um so we could have bought a sheet or two um but we just thought we'd try it we'll use um this opportunity to um make this video test out um this technique on some standards see how it goes make the video at the same time and um show you guys the finish and uh, possibly you can do it yourself Maybe, maybe not. It depends what you feel. But um, I think overall it is a success. Remember, we used a brand new cutter. It had never been used. Went really slowly with the router. Just not fast whatsoever. The slower you go, the better chance it's not going to fluff up on you. The router was at full speed. Yeah, we got really good results. So I will leave the video there. I hope this information has been to some use. Um, if you like the videos, if you like the content, if you like the style of our videos, hit that subscribe button. That's what it's all about. We're offering you all this info for free, obviously, and um, it's time out of the day to do all of this. Um, so if you appreciate that, just like, leave a comment and subscribe. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday. See you next Sunday. Ciao for now.